Hello everybody, AJ Rising here, and today I got a little tutorial for the Debian and Ubuntu users out there. We are going to install the Liquorix kernel on my main desktop, which is uh, Ubuntu 16.04.1. Uh, now, if you're not familiar with the Liquorix kernel, um, don't feel bad because until just a few weeks ago, I hadn't heard of it myself. A couple people on uh, on uh, Google Plus let me know about it, and I've been checking it out recently. Really want to give it a try, so uh, yeah, hey, that's what we're going to do. I've got their homepage open right here, and uh, just kind of reading down liquor. And first, let me say, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, sorry about that. I've never actually heard anybody say it. Um, I guess that's how you'd say it. Uh, Leckerx is a district replacement kernel built using the best configuration and kernel sources for desktop multimedia and gaming workloads. Major features, and this one stands out right here for me. Zen Interactive Tuning tunes the kernel for responsiveness at the cost of throughput and power usage. So, and, and you know, I'm, I'm new to using this kernel, so I haven't tested it myself. But just kind of reading that, if you are a laptop user and are trying to get every last drop out of that battery, you know, you go long periods uh, without recharging, then maybe this kernel isn't going to be for you. I don't know. Like I said, i got to do a little bit of testing here and try it out. And probably what I'll do is I'll do a follow-up uh, a couple weeks or whatnot, and, uh, and we'll go from there. But... Uh, um, to me, it sounds like this probably isn't the best kernel if you need to maximize battery usage. And uh, you know what? It goes through here on the home page. It goes through all the rest of the features of the kernel. I'm not going to go through all of them here. I'll leave a link down below so you can go and read this on your own. I'll go ahead and do the installation, and uh, we'll see what we get. Let me open up my terminal here. And I'm just going to copy and paste from my notes. So I'm going to give myself root access. So sudo su. All right, that makes me the root. And I will leave this. Uh, down below so that you can just copy and paste from the from the video description all right so we got that installed there we go and you can see it's this long source right here so now we're going to exit from root mode sudo app get update all right and then we'll do sudo app get install liquorix key ring install these packages yes Okay, so we got our key ring. Now let's do another update. All right, and then finally we're going to install. And now I've got the 64 bit version. forgot sudo. There we go. Okay, so that's going to install and then I will need to reboot uh, to using the new kernel. So while that's installing, I'm going to pause the video and then we'll come back and take a look at what we got. 
Okay, we are back. Installation went down without a hitch, no problems there. I rebooted so that we're running the new kernel, and uh, you know everything is functioning. There's no crashes. Uh, you know everything is working the way it should be. Now, having said all that, performance-wise, I can't tell any difference between this and the previous kernel. Um, and you know I've tried I tried opening a couple apps and and doing a few things and uh, you know like I said I really can't see any difference um, now the uh, the liquors car it is low latency so if you're someone that needs a low latency kernel uh, you know this will fit the bill for you uh, if you don't know what low latency is um, then you probably don't need it uh, <laughs> uh, for most people, it's not going to be an issue. And for probably, I don't know, probably 99% of the people out there, uh, you don't need low latency. So that's not going to be an issue for you. Um, I, you know, I know it tells that right here that it tunes the kernel for responsiveness. Uh, I really can't see it. If, if there is a difference on my desktop, um, it's very minimal. Um, but like I said, I'm going to continue running it for a while and just see, uh, you know, see how it works, see how it goes, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'll do a follow up uh, a couple weeks or so and, and let you know what I found. I, you know, who knows for the, you know, the average user, you know, maybe you're not going to notice a difference. And uh, uh, we'll just we'll just see where it goes. And uh, that about finishes things up. Uh, if you've got any comments, questions, all that kind of stuff, you can leave it down below, and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, and I hope to see you all on my next video. Thanks a lot.